Let's move on to the next one. Let's do a surface plot. So for surface plot, I usually do one of two things. I either come in and I just say, give me all the electrical components, right? Just give me all these pieces and let's do a temperature of the solid surface plot. And you click OK and you're going to get the components of interest, right? And their colors. Uh, there's a strap on here. That's why that's not showing because it's the actual strap needs to be shown for the colors. Um, again, just like cut plot, I can I can zoom in on my colors, but things are looking pretty good here. Usually with a surface plot, right? What you you may end up kind of doing it with two plots at once, and that tends to look really nice. But the other thing you can often do with a surface plot that really kind of messes people up a little bit is they'll choose this option that says use all faces. And when you do use all faces on an internal study, you always just get the exterior <laughs> boundaries of the box. Um, not really helpful. So instead, what you want to do for something like this is maybe come in and crop it. And this is something really, really helpful for all plots, not just this one. But what I can do is just come in here and say crop region. And we're just going to crop this back just the tiniest little bit. I don't know if that's enough or not. Let me click OK and see what that does. Nope. So we're going to crop this region in this direction. We'll just go back a tiny bit. Click OK and now we see inside and we get a much more complete picture. So hopefully that's a good tip. Uh, again, cropping can be done on anything. Flow trajectories, surface plots, cut plots. Uh, if, if you're like, man, this surface plot's great, but it's chopping this out. Crop it, and then the surface plot just stops at a certain point so you can see what you're doing.